Hi, good evening and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. Tonight is a great night for a beef stew. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the stew and then because we're going out to friends, I'm going to take it in a pumpkin. So what you do is you make the stew on the stove top you, or put it back in the oven in a casserole dish and you make the stew and when it's about three quarters of the way done and cooked, then you put it in a pumpkin and put it back in the oven for an hour and it's a great way to present a beef stew, this is a beef barley stew, and to um, just kind of celebrate the season, the Halloween season. On this board, I have two carrots that I'm going to chop up. Now, I like my carrots chunky, so I am going to use bigger chunks for my carrots, so they end up looking about like this, the big chunks, so that's perfect. I also have about a cup and a half of turnip, here, ready to go. So there's about one cup, and again, they're rather large chunks. And I have, I've peeled the turnip, because you don't want the peel. You don't want to eat turnip peels, that's for sure. So just peel off the part that you want to cut up, and dice that as well. Where's my, I've got my, my spoon somewhere. How do I, I don't know how I, how do I lose spoons when I'm on camera? I have no idea. Okay, so that's browning away. Trying to dice this up nice and thick, which will work very well. So that's turnip, carrot. I also have one and a half potatoes. Again, with your potatoes, just take off the stuff that you don't want to eat, like all the blemishes and the brown spots that aren't going to be good. And I don't even peel my potatoes. I leave them as they are and just cut them off as well into big chunks. And then, I also have here at the ready, I have my uh, bottle of wine. So I'm going to deglaze with about a cup of wine. I have my stock ready to go and my herbs. And today, I'm going to use fresh sage, fresh dried sage and rosemary, as well as sage and garlic. Like, these are these beautiful garlic cloves. Aren't they beautiful? I'm going to use those as well. So as soon as the meat has browned, I'm going to throw in my onions, and we're going to start by sautéing onions. So there's all my vegetables ready to go. I have some onions ready to go, and again, my onions are quite large as well, and I'm going to use one, one large onion, which will be perfect. I also have here some hot sauce. I love hot sauce in my stew, and some barley, which is ready to go as well. Also. Uh, Carl carved the pumpkin, and look at the pumpkin that we're going to throw into the stew as well. So that's fresh pumpkin from the pumpkin that we just carved, so it's going to be absolutely perfect. So this is all nicely browned. Beautiful. Nicely browned, so in go my onions. I'm going to saute my onions and my garlic. So I'm going to throw my garlic in as well. Just chop it up. Be perfect. Just throw that away. And this is a really good time to add your herbs and your whatever spices you're going to use. So I'm going to add in my sage and my rosemary now as well. And they will, you'll start to smell the, the herbs right away. Be delicious. Okay, so now the onions are semi-transparent, the beef is brown, the garlic is in. Now I'm going to add my quarter cup of flour right into the oil. And that's going to help with the thickening process. I'm going to cook that. It smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, that's perfect. To that, I'm going to add my one cup of red wine. I'm going to deglaze. My bay leaves go in. My diced pumpkin goes in, so about a cup of pumpkin from the carved pumpkins. Now, all my vegetables go in as well my carrots, my um, turnip, and my potatoes. And to that, we're also going to add to start with, uh, we're going to add some stock. So I'm going to add 900 ml of beef stock to this. 
And it's surprising how much fluid you need for stew, because you do want it to boil down. Now later on you might have to add a little bit more stock or water, but right now 900 ml, so one carton will do. And I've got this old tomato sitting here. It's not really good for sandwiches, but it's going to taste great in the stew. So I'm just going to chop that up as well and throw it in as well. It's going to help tenderize the meat. It's going to be fabulous. Now I'm going to add some hot sauce. That'll just spice everything up. It's going to be absolutely delicious. And I'm going to add salt and pepper now as well. So I'm going to bring this to the boil. I'm going to turn it down. And I can either pop it in the oven or leave it on the stove top. And it'll simmer away. And what I'm looking for is for the vegetables to start to tenderize. So I want to cook them until they're about three quarters done. And then I'll show you at that point what I'm going, how I'm going to finish this stew off and how luscious that's going to look. So I'm not going to add the barley just yet. I'm going to wait until halfway through the cooking time because here's my barley. And trust me, barley and stew is absolutely delicious. So we're just going to wait for the vegetables to now cook. What we've done now, I've taken the pumpkin out of the oven. So I put the stew in, the pumpkin, and I put it in the oven, and it was in there for about 45 to an hour at about 350. And now I'm ready to go to our friends for dinner. So here's the pumpkin ready to go. So you take off the lid and all this luscious, delicious stew is ready for your guests. And it's such a neat way to present for Halloween. So when you just take it, then you, of course you just pop it into your bowl and serve it. The, look at that beautiful, luscious stew. So thank you for joining me on Cooking Uncovered for my Halloween beef stew. It's perfect for a Hallow's Eve. Thanks for watching.